everyone, we're going to prove Theorem 2.4, and that's the second case of the Congruent Supplements Theorem, where two angles are supplementary to congruent angles. For example, given that 1 and 2 are supplements, and 3 or 4 are supplements, that 1 and 1 is uh, congruent to angle 4, we want to prove that angle 2 or is congruent to angle 3. So we'll do that. So the first part is given, and you're just going to write down this. So I'm not going to write that down. So put that there. And then for number 2, um, they give you the, the statements and you have to give the reason, and um, the reason is definition of supplementary. Basically, the measure of these two angles, when you add them together, equals 180. And when you add these two together, you get 180. So that's just def definition of supplementary angles. All right, and then number three, they also give you the statement that the measure of angle one equals the measure of angle four. Well, that's basically from your given, so that's just definition of congruence. Or congruent angles, just put congruence. Okay, number four, they said the measure of angle 1 plus 2, which is 180, equals the measure of angle um, 3 plus 4. Angle, measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4. And that's going to be your um, so for number 4, that's just going to be your transitive property. Right, and for number five, they gave you the reason, but not the answer. So for number five, you're going to write um, substit for substitution. We're just going to be writing uh, for five. The measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle. One because the measure of angle four equals the measure of angle one, so I substituted that in. So what got changed was this part. All right, number six it says the measure of angle two equals the measure of angle three. And that's because I subtracted measure of angle 1 from both sides of the equation. So that's going to be a subtraction property. And then for number 7, we have the definition of congruence. So instead of writing it this way, you're going to just write for number 7, uh, angle 2 uh, is congruent to angle 3. And that's what you, we were supposed to prove. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.